Hi guys and girls, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails, and today we are playing Gas Station Simulator. It is a DLC included in this as well, which is the Can Touch This, and essentially you can upgrade your gas station in a lot more ways than you could before. They've given us some new tools, which I've already purchased the airbrush here and a pneumatic hammer. And I said pneumatic drill for some reason. And it has, you know, it, it lets you like customize your walls, you can put graffiti up, you can build your own furniture as well. I've not quite revised that yet, like visited it. I do need some fuel. Let's add some fuel to our garage. This is fuel that the, the cars pulling up to the petrol pumps will buy. I do need a few items to sell in the shop as well. Cakes. Everybody needs cakes and donuts. Keep adding all these to our basket. Piggies! Go through the hats. If it's green, it's cheap. And you have a little dot next to the name of it. If it's red, it's more expensive. Like, overpriced, essentially. So I always tend to go for the green ones. We've not really played this uh, this game too often, and it is enjoyable, it really is. It's a simulator. I mean, I love simulators anyway. Beer! Alchemy for all. Secrets. And ice cream, everyone likes an ice cream. Drinks. Some of those. Snacks. We like snacks! Keep adding them. Hopefully we've got enough space. No. Okay. Let's move a few things out. Do, do, do. Get rid of that. And that we should be okay. Yep, it like that. We got more. We're gonna head back. We're actually in the warehouse back then. Got our fuel already waiting. That was quick. I love the style of the vehicles. I really do. This is our garage. Garage. Petrol station. Just paint this bit here. This paintbrush isn't part of the DLC. It's part of the standard game. But it looks a bit, you know, grim. This is one of the new features in the DLC, the Can Touch This. You can add your own spray paint things, shapes and stuff. Uh, the logo, I like the logo. Oh, rotating it, okay. You make it bigger, you make it smaller. You can place it on the ground, which is cool. So we do have a delivery coming soon. Let's put this over here. That's what the floating truck sign is. It's your where it, your delivery is on the map. Wrong button. Okay. They have updated uh, how employees work and it is so much easier to manage your employees right now. Um, you have day shift and night shift workers when it shows up. Don't know why my computer's been a bit slow today. There we go. Um, so inside I've got lots of shelving. And on that shelving are all the items what we buy. And always have it fully stocked, that's all I can say. Because every now and then you'll get this party bus, so these characters dancing away and they're like in costumes from aliens. There's, I think there's a unicorn, I'm not sure. Might be wrong there. I'd like it to be a unicorn if there isn't. Um, and they, they will just clear you out. So we're just heading back over to the warehouse. We're going to let the van in. So we can unload it and put away our new stock. There we go. Grab it and put it on the shelf as we do. And that's the last of it. And they just drive off with the doors open, so that's how it is. We're going to check our employees. We're going to pay them all up. They're okay. They're working during the day. Close the door and run out, so we don't get trapped. Heading back over to the garage. Hello. 
Uh, we're going to do a bit of restock. Because people like to buy stuff. Going to need some more of these. Snacks, I think they are. They're snacks, sorry. These are toys, lots of toys. Everyone likes toys. We're just trying to fill up as much onto the shelf as possible. I do try and give a selection. Like a few of each. Newspapers. She's complaining that the, we don't have a certain newspaper in. I'm sorry, Karen. Um, okay, that seems full. Toys! We can add more toys. He's complaining about not having something in stock as well. I'm sorry, sir. Put the hats out. Everybody likes a hat. Some crazy designs, but I really love them all. Functional. Secrets. Yes, I am saying it wrong. I'm sorry. And this is car cleaning stuff. There we go. And sunglasses. Lots of selection. Okay. It's dark. So we do have our employees just doing the jobs. We've got someone working on the till. We've got someone sweeping up and we currently have someone working the petrol pumps. And um, there are other things available as well. Like I do have an ice cream car and there's a, a mechanic car repair thing, but I don't have them open. It does feel a bit overwhelming sometimes when you've got so many things running and it's hard to keep track of where all your employees are and you know what stock you've got for each thing. But I did notice I still need to... title text? Well I nearly got it right. Um, I did notice I need to tidy up the outside of the gas station. Oops. The idea is to keep the marker in the green line and if you don't you get a a big paint splatter on the floor and you've got to clean it up afterwards or your employee does it if they're allocated that job. I think it looks kind of cool, white and red. Because over time your paintwork does deteriorate and you've got to repaint everything both inside and out. So it's a proper simulator, it's a proper simulator. I mean, I let the employees do a lot of the work. Especially with the update, how they changed the employees, absolutely brilliant, absolutely love that. Previously to the update, I could not trust them at all because I had no idea where they were, what they were doing, and half of them weren't doing the job. But now this is fully managed, which is a really good thing. Let's finish off this side, and we'll probably have to tidy it all up. Now yeah, we had a bit of spillage. It's okay, it's still good. We're nearly there. We've got a couple more to do. I think we'll do the roof as well. Um, but I will be revising the, the pneumatic hammer as well. Because we've, we've had a look at the, uh, uh, the spray thing. Let's clean up our mess, because nobody likes a mess. Like if there's too much trash on the floor, or the bins are dirty and smelly, your customers don't like it and they complain and that's fully understandable. I mean, I get that. So the roof is kind of nasty. And I figured out you can paint the top of the roof, but I'm not sure how you do the roof on the inside though. Keep it in the middle, same as the walls. He's looking for a, a drink or something, I'm not sure. So we're going from white to black. I think it looks better. I do think it looks better. We'll have a look from the roof itself. I've got a ladder here. Oops. There we go. Did we get it? And we got most of it. I know we didn't do this like porchy bit here, so we'll do that. Stay in the green! I mean, once it's done, it's done. You don't have to go back to it for a decent amount of time, which is good. It's not always pestering you to do mundane tasks. Go. 
A roof didn't clean up. I'm not sure how to do that, but we'll figure it. And um, we're going to add some more items to the shelving. Because that's one job what the, the employees will not do, is restock. Let's check our employees here. What's that? Pay automatically, really? Oh, that's even better. I don't need to worry about it. Just, okay. Check the box and you can not worry about having to pay your employees. It'll just do it automatically. I like that. Have a look around here. I think we've got all of these. Yeah, I don't need them. Um, this is progression. You can unlock, you can unlock things um, moving forward. Got to reach certain goals to do it, but you know we're getting there. Slow and surely. This is the overview of our garage. Yeah, it is a cool little game. I do love. I love sim simulators in general. I mean, we even got a car wash. I've noticed you can't put an employee on the car wash, so you have to do this manually yourself. Which is not a problem. Especially if you've got some time to kill, you know, it's worth doing. It takes time for your, your customers to roll up. Give them a couple of minutes and they start coming and it's brilliant. It's a little bit like um, pressure wash simulator, power wash simulator, those kind of games. Personally, I think it... The pressure washer in this does need a little bit of improvement. Like you have to move your entire screen to clean it, maybe lock the screen in place in future, and then just move your pressure washer, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. Dust me, sorry. Okay, I was going to... Uh... You can steal from cars, let's put it that way. Um, that's what I was going to do there, and I realised you can't steal from pickup trucks. Which is silly. But it's not silly, it makes sense. There's no boot, you know. Can't open it. Still nobody here. Customers, where are you? That question mark marker in the distance, that's for another little side quest, which I'm not completing at this point. We do have the ice cream thing as well. Ice cream stand. Um, should probably have a look at that. I always get lost in menus. I'm terrible for it. I'm sorry. Do we need any fuel? Um, mm, we've got a bit. Garbage collection. That's the big skip outside. There's a truck which a truck which comes and they'll take away the rubbish, which is good. Bit more restocking. I mean, if you don't have an employee set to cleaning up, your floor does get dirty. You get sand trod through. They throw fish on the floor, live fish, and that's one thing I've never understood. But it is actually brilliant. It's cute. If a flopping fish is cute, I think they are. Ice cream. Donuts. And yes, you do get police officers come in. Let that dude there. And you can manually fuel the cars as well outside, but again, I've got a, an employee doing that job. And you can repair vehicles. But yeah, the, I mean, this DLC can touch this. It has added, you know, a little bit of extra content. I mean, you, you can add new furniture. You can add new walls. You can... Spray paint, you know, little touches. Doesn't have to be a big thing. Add more. We run out of stuff really quickly. Got two trucks in the distance. We're out of that. Hmm. We'll order more. Hello, officer. Here is. The bin bag, bin bag, bin wagon, or trash truck, and the fuel truck. And there was somebody at the pressure wash station then. Let me do the fuel first. If I don't, the road will get blocked. Come on, dude. 
that was an employee, two employees, going on break. They were the night shift and, you know, day shift starting now. They're going over it as well. There we go. Fuel. Hello, would you like your car washing? I mean, the car wash is a little bit clunky, but it works. It does work. Room for improvement. My computer doesn't like it. That's not the game, that's just my machine. There are vehicles beeping because the, the trucks are in the way. We can't do anything, I'm sorry. Get this vehicle nice and clean. Beep. Oh, the delivery truck's there as well. I mean, I can't do anything about moving the fuel truck. That That's on its own. Um, There we go, it's done. Achievement unlocked. Welcome to the car wash. I will close that so we don't get any more vehicles coming in. Head over and get our deliveries again. Nice big warehouse, this. It really is. It did get tidied out. I mean, there was like a drum kit and a... A practice room for a, a band in here at the start. There we go. Close the gate and run out as fast as you can. Gonna head back over here. Ooh, that was a plane going overhead. And yes, we do have the uh, the DLC, the the airstrip DLC. So we do have planes. I've not fully opened that yet. Let's see if we can actually lock pick a car. Intermediate level. It's a little bit like Skyrim or uh, Fallout. As in the lock picking method. Uh oh, someone coming back to the car. Okay, I didn't do anything. Didn't get it. How did they not see me? Try this one. Have a wiggle. Come on. Where are you? Oop, no. Not over there. Sweet spot, where are you? Can't be opened. Opened. It's confusion. We got some money, anyway. I always press the escape button, the pause menu. There we go. Uh, what's in here? Need to do anything else? Petrol station's working. The pumps, I mean. The little computer's slow, come on. Um, gas station, close the gas station. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have a play with the jackhammer. Jackhammer, pneumatic drill, that thing. So apparently you can change walls. Oh, okay. Oh, we can do that. Okay, put windows in. And change the type of wall it is. Oh, there we go. We actually got a window there now. That's cool. I like that. So that's part of the can touch this deal here. I suppose you could like, build an entire building of windows, I guess. Need to repaint my wall though, which is fine. It's okay. Let's have another look through here. Valentine's Day brick. There's a lot of selection, and the texture as well, which is nice. So you can either have it on both sides, the inside and the outside of the wall, or just the outside. I like. Huh. We're just having a look. So you press the top one for the outside only and the, the bottom button for both. Straightforward. Let's paint this because it's ugly. Keep it in the green. Whoops. And this is what I mean with the uh, interior walls deteriorate as well. If you look at the bottom, 
Um, there's lots of grotty bits at the bottom, like dirt. And that's what we're covering up. There we go. So yeah, this is Gas Station Simulator. And we are playing with the Can Touch This DLC. I do hope you like this video. I'm just going to leave you watching along if you want to continue watching. That's really all I've got to say. I like the simulator. I've said this before. Plenty of DLCs for it. And especially this DLC, it does add, you know, a little bit extra content. You customise your, your gas station. That's exactly what it says on the tin. That's exactly what it does. So yeah, I'm Vicky from Tales from the Trails. English. I'm Vicky from Tales from the Trails. Hope you enjoyed my video in some way, shape or form. If you do like it, please hit that like button. If you don't already, please subscribe. All the best and happy trails out there.